Unit 4 Writing In this video, you will learn how to write a short story. Discuss Do you play tricks on your friends? Play tricks means pull pranks on your friends. If you do, why? If you don't, why not? Well, actually, I do play a lot of tricks on my friends because we all have a great sense of humor. When you have sense of humor, that means you enjoy joking around and having fun and laugh a lot with the tricks we play on each other. Or you could say no if you don't play tricks. I don't, because it's not nice to put your friends in a difficult situation when you embarrass them make them feel scared or worried and make them feel uncomfortable what's the best trick you have ever played on someone or someone has ever played on you well one time my brother played a good trick on me and on my whole family he was away studying at university and the whole family was expecting him when you expect, you believe that something will happen. We believed that he would come and spend a few days with us. While we were waiting for him at the airport, we went to the airport to pick him up. He phoned me, he called me to tell me that he had missed his flight and would not be able to come after all. We were disappointed. When you are disappointed, you are unhappy, you are sad, because something that you expected to happen didn't happen. Especially my mother. We drove back home, and as we were entering the house, we saw my brother there. He said, Surprise! I'm here after all! He had taken an earlier flight that we didn't know about, he sneaked into the house while we were at the airport just to play a trick on us and was waiting for us at home with gifts for everyone. 2. Focus on task completion, finishing work that you must do. Style and organization. Read the rubric. This is the rubric, the two and a half lines and the story on the right, then answer the questions below that follow. Read the rubric. You have decided to enter a short story competition on an international online magazine. The competition rules, rules is something that you must follow, must obey. The rules say, that the story must begin with the following words. This should be at the beginning of your story. Ammar couldn't stop laughing every time he thought about what had happened that day. Now somebody entered this competition and wrote a story and he used this sentence at the beginning, Ammar couldn't stop laughing every time he thought about what had happened that day. And he titled this story, Quite an Experience, Good Experience. He, Ammar, and some friends were spending a few days in the Mam, and they had decided to go camping near a beautiful beach in the area. The days had passed. The days had passed means one day in, one day out, and the few days have almost finished. So quickly. During their stay, they had visited many places, including one of the places they had visited is the impressive, the amazing, Al Khubar Water Tower. Al Khubar Water Tower in the nearby town of Al Khubar. And now it was their last day. They really wanted to make the most of it. 
make the most of the last day means use every second in a good way and not let it go to waste, not waste time. So as soon as they woke up, they set off for, they went to the beach as they all wanted to go fishing one last time. The day started off uneventfully. Uneventfully. Do you see the word event here? Event? Event is something that happens uneventfully means with nothing important that happened. Nothing special happened that day until they decided to stop fishing and go swimming. It was particularly, specifically, hot that day. Ammar decided to join in the fun, so he jumped in the water too. He was swimming when suddenly, unexpectedly and quickly, he felt something brush against his leg. Something touched his leg. Shark! Sammy screamed and everyone ran out of the water. Leaving Ammar, he was the only one in the water. He was so scared that he couldn't move. He thought that the shark was brushing against his leg. A few moments later, Ammar heard his friend Sammy giggling. When you giggle, you do this. <laughs> That's giggling. Laughing, Ha 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 ha, that's laughing, giggling, he 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 he. He immediately, at once, knew that Sammy was playing another one of his tricks again. So he relaxed and started laughing. When everyone else realized they knew what had happened, they started chasing, running after Sammy, trying to catch him. Apparently, it seems that Sammy had been waiting for the last day to scare everyone. He had planned, arranged, and thought about everything perfectly, precisely, skillfully, and managed, he was able to, make their last day unforgettable. They will always remember that day. Of course, he also gave Ammar a scary experience to talk about. Answer the questions. What did Ammar and his friends think was in the water? Shark. Does the writer start the story in an appropriate way, suitable way? Yes, he does. Is the prompt sentence changed at all? What is the prompt sentence? It is this sentence. Did it change? No, he used it as it is. The writer uses narrative tenses in the story. They are the past tenses like past simple, past progressive, past perfect simple. We use these tenses when we tell a story. Find and underline examples of an action that happened before something else in the past. We will underline this with green. Well, here is one. He and some friends were spending a few days in the map and they had decided. Well, we have two actions. Spend few days and decide. This one happened first. They decided first, right? This is why we used had. Had decided. Past perfect simple. Another one. Here, realized and had happened. It happened first and then they realized. Also here, plan and manage. The planning happened first. Now find an action that was taking place, that was happening when it was interrupted. Interrupted, another action stopped this action. Can you find them? Here. He was swimming. This is the first action. He was swimming, 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 and then he felt something. This action interrupted this. We give the first one 
past progressive we give the second one past simple now can you find a series of actions not only one series one action after another that happened one after the other in the past well here we have woke up and set off they happened one after another jumped decided now an action that had started and continued up to a certain point particular time in the past here Sammy had been waiting for the last day to scare everyone when did he start waiting since he arrived in the mem he kept waiting 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 until the last day we give it past perfect progressive now is the writer's style formal or informal if you say informal or formal you need to find the examples in the text to justify to prove your answer evidence can you find evidence that his style is informal yes we can he used couldn't there is a contraction here if it is formal then we use could not we don't say couldn't and he used an exclamation mark shark exclamation mark if it's formal we don't use exclamation mark now focus on language and style read the sentences with the highlighted adverbs in the story how does the use of adverbs improve the story these are adverbs how do they improve the story make the story better well they improve the style of the story and make it more vivid more lively and exciting now use the adverbs in the box to complete the sentences below luckily occasionally occasionally means from time to time happily obviously means clearly cautiously cautiously means carefully suddenly and completely it was a beautiful spring morning and the children were playing how were they playing they were playing happily in the garden now an adverb is something that modifies a verb they were playing happily happily modifies what how did they play how did he walk he walked slowly adjectives modify nouns okay he is good good modifies he do you understand what adverbs are okay Carl came out of the accident with only a few scratches these are scratches so Carl was lucky he luckily came how did he come he came luckily out of the accident he was lucky not luckily he was lucky adjective Carl is lucky he came out luckily with only a few scratches my best friend and I don't have much time to see each other anymore, but we get together to chat and exchange news. Exchange news. I tell him the latest things that happened to me, and he tells me the latest things that happened to him. We occasionally. After the climb up the mountain, this is climb, be silent after the climb up the mountain we were exhausted completely the vet vet is short for veterinary veterinary someone who treats animals the veterinary approached the injured bear cautiously carefully tennis now tennis is not a sport it's a man's name had almost reached the top of the tree when the branch this is a tree branch broke and he fell to the ground the branch broke suddenly Maria was upset 
worried and sad and didn't want to talk to us clearly, obviously. Now look at the table below with time linkers. What are time linkers? They are words and phrases that indicate, that show the sequence of events, which event happened first. These are time linkers. Now, to begin your story, you can use initially, first at first. What does initially mean? Initially, it means first or at first. When you want to continue what you are saying, you can use then, next, after that, afterwards. They all mean the same thing. Now, to finish your story, you can say finally, in the end, eventually. They all mean the same thing. You can use other time linkers like meanwhile and in the meantime. These two mean the same thing. Meanwhile, in the meantime. They mean during this time. During, during this time. The moment that, gradually, gradually means a little by little, slowly, since, by the time, and before. Now read the story and find more time linkers. Here they are. With others, we put during, as soon as, until, and when. With continuing, just like then, next, after this, we put a few moments later. Now read the text and circle the correct words and phrases. Adventure stories have been told since the beginning of time. To this day, the adventure story is a tool used to warn, entertain, and teach children all over the world. At first, at the beginning, initially, fairy tales were told in order to. What are fairy tales? They are just like the story of Beauty and the Beast, or Cinderella, or Snow White. We call them fairy tales. They were told to teach good and fair decisions. One such story is Little Red Riding Hood. This is the name of a story just like Cinderella that you can find on my channel. I'll try and leave a link to this story in the description below this video which speaks of the adventures of a girl giving the message that children should never talk to strangers. Gradually, slowly, a little by little, the stories started becoming more focused on action than on adventure. But the moral lesson, the thing that you learn, the lesson that you learn from reading the story, remained still. Meanwhile, or after comic books started being released, released being printed and published. Meanwhile, during this time, comic books started being printed, and a new fan base, group of fans of teenagers was created. Usually, Comic book creators find a traditional story or fairy tale. Next, after that, they rewrite it to make it more adventurous and to fit their own characters. So the next time you sit down and read a comic book, remember that the story it was based on, it was created on, also lived an adventure before it reached you. Now it is your turn to write a short story and remember this outline. You write three paragraphs or three parts, not paragraphs. The first part is the introduction. In the introduction, you write or describe the setting of the story, the time and the place, and the main characters in the story. You introduce the main characters, you describe the feelings, at the beginning. And then we move on to the main part. 
you write two to three paragraphs. And here, how many paragraphs do we have? We have two. This is one. And here, we start another one. Two paragraphs. You describe how the story started and developed. And then the conclusion, you describe the outcome, what happened in the end. This could also be included in the main part. And then you make a brief comment on the story. Read the rubric below, read this, and then write your story. 120 to 180 words. Go to the workbook, page 38. An international online magazine, it's the same rubric as before, is organizing a short story competition, and you have decided to take part, to write a story. The competition rules say that the story must begin with the following words. Start your story with this. Michael didn't really like adventure, but that day he had no choice. When writing a story, remember that you should try to keep the plot of the story, the events that happen in the story, fairly simple. The story should continue from or end with the prompt sentence. The story should be organized in paragraphs, introduction, main part, and conclusion, have an interesting introduction and an appropriate ending. You should use informal or consistently neutral language. If you don't want it to be informal, you can make it neutral. Neutral means not formal and not informal, a mix. You should use past narrative tenses. You should use time linkers to indicate the sequence of events, chronological order, etc. What does chronological order mean? It means the sequence of events, the same thing. You should try to create an appropriate atmosphere by using direct speech, questions, exclamations, a variety, a lot of different adjectives and adverbs and vivid vocabulary. Now, for linking words and phrases and other expressions and phrases that you can use, you can see Appendix 1 on page 97. You can look at it in your own time. Now, we are on page 38 in your workbook. Now, we brainstorm ideas. What should we write in the introduction? What is the setting, the time and place, the characters, the feelings? Well, it happened last summer. This is the time. The place in the mountains. Alan, one of the characters, got lost in the mountains and his brother Michael went to search for him. Michael was worried about his brother. This is how he felt. The main part. What happened first? Well, first, Michael received a call from Alan's friends to let him know that his brother got lost. How was the story developed? Michael and the others were calling Alan's name when they found him trapped in a big hole. What happened in the end? This part could also be included in the conclusion. You can answer this here. In the end, Michael and the others pulled Alan out of the hole how did the characters feel during the development of the story they were really worried that something terrible could have happened to alan the conclusion what was the outcome of the story michael and the others pulled alan out of the hole and hugged him how can you comment on the story from that time michael hated adventures more than he had before. And here is our story. I managed to write 174 words and I titled it Quite an Adventure. Michael didn't really like adventure. I used the same sentence from the prompt. But that day he had no choice. He was sitting in his armchair last summer watching his favorite TV show when he received a phone call from one of his brother's friends who went to the mountains, telling him that his brother Alan 
was nowhere to be found. He was lost. Hurriedly, quickly, Michael went to the mountains. He was very worried about his brother. As soon as he reached Alan's friends in the mountains, they immediately started walking and calling Alan's name. Alan! Alan! But there was no answer. A few moments later, to everyone's surprise, they heard Alan crying for help. Help! Michael was scared, and he started running faster and faster until he reached a big hole. He couldn't believe his eyes. Alan had been waiting this whole time for someone to find him and pull him out. Michael pulled his brother out and hugged him. Alan later said that he had felt that he was going to be saved by his brother. From that time, Michael hated adventures more than he had before. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.